everybody, and welcome to lesson number four. So today we are learning about the anatomy of the U.S. Constitution. I know we have spent a fair amount of time talking about the U.S. Constitution thus far, but this is going to be presenting it in a new way. So like always, we can start, I'm going to scoot over so you guys can put the, I'll put the things right there. How's that sound? Sounds good. Penny, what do you think? I think I should have Penny in this so she's like my sidekick, like a, I'm doing a talk show. She could be my sidekick. She doesn't talk very much though. Anyway, so we're gonna talk about the anatomy of the US Constitution. Like always, we have our vocab words right there. We're gonna start with a warm up. So this is a very famous painting called The Anatomy Lesson of Dr. Tulp. It was painted by my friend Rembrandt in the year 1632, who was a member of the Dutch School of Painting from The Hague. It has very little to do with what we're talking about, aside from the fact that it is dealing with anatomy. Anatomy means when you're struggling through studying the parts or structure of something. So what it is made up of. So for this, we're going to be talking about what is the anatomy of the U.S. Constitution. But before we do that, our warm up is to write down four elements of a well written paper. Right. What would be the anatomical design of a well written paper? After that, you are going to think about the Constitution. We have already discussed it a fair amount. So what do you think the construction might look like? This is a prediction. You don't. Penny's doing something crazy. Anyway, you don't need to have the right answer. This is just a best guess for this. OK, make sure it is at least three sentences long. All right. At this point, we are going to look at the preamble to the Constitution, right? Preamble means coming, walking beforehand, it, literally, pre before, okay? So what it is going to do is it's going to talk to us about what the point of the Constitution is, right? It is going to outline what the Constitution is going to do. What you are going to do is using the material that you've learned so far, you're going to write your own version of the preamble of the Constitution, telling the reader what they should expect from the Constitution. If you need any help with that, Ms. B. Ello has made a very helpful video, which I think goes into this, um, and check that out as well. So many great resources from so many great educators. Are you guys the most fortunate children in the world? Probably. I can see no evidence to the contrary. All right, after that, you're gonna watch a Schoolhouse Rock video. That's old school, that's just classic. You can't get better than Schoolhouse Rock. Um, and then you are going to write down two goals of our constitution that are laid out by the preamble. There are a lot more than two, but you're just gonna pick two and write them down in that box right there. Finally, for our main activity today, you are going to take each of the words from the preamble, translate it into your own. So for example, let's do this first one together. It says, we the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. So we're gonna put that into our own words. So we the people of the United States, I'm just gonna say, we Americans are the people in America, right? In order to form a more perfect union. So I would say, right, what are they trying to talk about? What are the important things we're trying to say there? Um, in order to make the best government we can. Right, so that's what they're saying there. And I'm gonna put that into, take it from the green box, move it into the white box and put it in my own words. That is what we are going to do. If you would like to, there are more resources there at the bottom. You can check out the Constitution Center. You can do whatever you want. Um, I recommend looking into Rembrandt. He's a very interesting guy. You know, he wrote, made a lot more paintings than just, just this one. Um, there's a really famous one you did called The Night Watch. I think that one's fantastic as well. Check that out. You know, hey, you got time. You might as well use it. Okay. Well, like always, Penny and I are saying goodbye. I miss you guys. My homeroom, it was nice to see you guys yesterday during our brunch session. We're going to try to do some more of those. Um, students who I don't teach, I hope to... Oh, but you've gotten to know me a little bit through these videos and, um, you know, you still respect me. I hope that you still respect me at least a little bit by the end of these, but, you know, maybe that's too much to hope for. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I miss you guys. Um, stay safe. Keep learning. Um, if you have any questions, email your teachers. All right. Bye, guys. Take care.